Hey guys, it's Rob from Toolbox Buzz and you are watching Tools in Action. Yep. Yeah, I, was, I was holding it by the exhaust. So you can see, watch to walk over. Walk around. We're gonna walk over a little bit more in fresher air in the garage. Is it going down? A little bit. I mean, Not you much. put it right in front of the exhaust, that's why. Well, yeah, but I'm sure it's gonna. There we go, it's going down. What'd you hit on it to get it to go down? Well, I didn't, I just. Started it's going. Yeah. yeah. I think, unless that started it going down. Wow, it's amazing how much is left in the air. Well, no, it's going down. I mean, because we hit like at that exhaust. But still, actually, I mean, still, we, yeah. Now it's going slower. I so mean, go ahead and open up the garage door. So that means there's some PPM in the air. <laughs> PPM. Parts per million. Parts per million. Okay, now we're gonna walk outside. All right, so once it hit 30, it kind of came down. What's up, you guys? Today on Tools in Action, we are talking about Klein tools, specifically something geared towards the tradesman, specifically the uh, HVAC guy. Uh, the HVAC guy, when he's out on the job, needs a few tools, a couple of test and measurement tools like a carbon monoxide detector and a pocket thermometer, which you know you can stick into things and get the temperature of. And it also has a guard on it, so it's gonna give you ambient temperature, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't know the exact why you would need something like that, but um, for this, yeah, for an I mean, I would imagine what would you're... they have to what would they have to stick this in? You know, I know they're, they, they're meat. <laughs> they're just, Eric's gonna stick it in his meat in the yeah. uh, barbecue because he thinks it's gonna be able to. You know, obviously this is not food grade. That's not what it's meant for. But for no, some, but it does temperatures of uh, negative forty to four hundred and eighty-two degrees Fahrenheit. That's know, a but huge dude, range. Why do you need to know the temperature of your meat when you're cooking meat? You know, you're done. How? I've never cooked undercooked meat. You always tell you cut it open. I mean, if it looks like wow, dude, this thing wasn't cooked. No, it's like if you're making a good steak, you want to cook it, and then if you cut it open, you, you want it sealed and let it sit for, you know, a good 10 minutes for you to eat it. Right. So. Eric's other job is at a Outback Steakhouse at night. Applebee's, dude. Apple <laughs> they got the worst steaks, man. Uh, I had I a know. steak there one time, it was like, rubber. We won't even go there. Um, carbon monoxide detector, you guys. This thing's pretty cool. We might have shown you at the beginning of the video. You're seeing it now. We started at the Ventrec in the garage for 30 seconds, not recommended, but this thing right away, Eric put it by the exhaust, obviously, but it uh, took off, said, get the hell out, there's problems. You know, we took it outside, it slowly came mm -hmm. down, and right now we're at 18 ppm. So we're getting a yellow flash. That's why we might, this video might be a little weird. Why? Huh? Oh, because we're a little bit out of it. Actually, we're at 21 ppm now. The higher I hold it, mm. um, the max we've had in here is 25, which is kind of high. We're ventilating right now, but it does have this flashing light here. It will flash red when you're in a danger zone. Yes. Which is crazy. Um, and last but not least, we have the HVAC screwdriver nut driver, which uh, you know we're starting to see some of these all-in-ones coming out from them, and they have this lock system here, which is going to allow you to do two different sizes. Yeah, I'm liking those. Those are cool. Yeah, quarter inch and five sixteenths, and then you can pull it out, and you have a uh, an all-in-one. You have your Phillips bit. It's kind of like oily right now. I can't pull it out. You have your Phillips bit, your torch, your core. And I mean, that's pretty cool. That just feels quality. That's a cool tool. It's magnetic. You know, it's the guy that's gonna have. They're lighting up your pouch. I was gonna say yeah, exactly. You know? And that's huge. Yeah, you have this in there. It's just like, mm -hmm. you know, you're done. Good stuff. You guys, tools in action, hashtag TAA crew. Let us know what you guys think of this cool stuff that's coming out from Klein. Like I said, they're really starting to dig their heels in and gearing towards these certain tra tradesmen. Uh, mainly they were electrician, now they're going mm -hmm. into HVAC. I'm sure we might even see them going into plumbing, stuff like that. And even plumbers do have Klein tools, Klein oh, yeah. bags, Klein yeah. lights, Klein, yep. you know, test and measurement equipment. So yep. um, it's good stuff, you guys. Tools in action, hashtag TAA crew. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.
www.thebeatdown.com. <laughs>